As a project for my live show, I've been looking into the pictures taken of the moon by the orbiters and the Apollo mission. There are so many pictures taken of the moon's surface and of the earth in the background. The earth rising. Strange to think about the earth rising. These photos are mind bending really and a lot of claims are made about the pictures of the moon and of the missions themselves. As much harassment as I'm bound to receive doing this, I'm going to weigh the evidence together, examine all the claims, and research through one of the most polarizing and fascinating subjects on the internet to date. One thing is for sure, we will come out the other side with a better picture of what's going on. coolest things about the moon is that you can get online and look up photo after photo after photo after photo and you find that there are even uh, entire web pages entire YouTube channels that make a pretty good living off of showing you strange things they find like this for example it says alien base discovered in NASA moon photo and that gets a lot of clicks gets a lot of people wanting to click in um, of course, I was fascinated when I saw this. I've looked at these types of web pages for a very long, very long time. Uh, you, you find that a lot of the same people are always finding these things, and a lot of web pages are sharing it around. Secure Team 10 and uh, Scott Waring and people like that. Um, actually, Scott Waring, I tried to debunk one of his photos in a very polite way, and you can imagine he blocked me, turned off comments on the video. I did an entire video on that on my main channel. Anyway... So one thing that's good is that they've started to realize that people will go and download these photos in high res and take a look at them. And I did just that. And I've been having fun with this all day. This is my own download in the most high res file format that I could get it. And I found the object and I zoomed in. And it's actually really interesting um, because, you know, these types of photos, it's, it's a little different than other photos that you find because a lot of old photos will have little hairs and little dots but they, you don't really find those in these photos but what i've done is spend a massive amount of time you know trying to kind of read through and I, and one thing i noticed is that they definitely use clickbait right because this definitely isn't a base um now i will say this and some of you are going to think i'm starting this whole thing off in a very uh, conspiratorial way but please 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 don't make that judgment I don't see this as a as an object on the moon. I look at this as looks like an object that's um, floating above the moon. And if you invert the color, you can see why I would think that. You know, it's very strange, but these types of things happen even on photos of the Earth. And unfortunately, these are one of those types of uh, instances where, you know, no matter what we do to try to magnify it, to look in on it, to sharpen it up, um, we're not going to get a good answer. We're not going to be able to say this is a base, or it's a flying object, or if it's a ground object, or if it's some type of uh, photo uh, anomaly. We won't know that. We won't be able to figure that out. But let's zoom out, and we'll show you what the entire photo looks like. It's something that they don't typically do. I mean, look at this thing one more time. Isn't that pretty crazy looking? Whatever it could be. Now, it could just be uh, something on the ground that's lining up to look that way one thing i love doing by the way and that i've done on all of the photos i'm going to show you today is i've tried to find the boundaries of the photo so here you notice that the boundaries of this photo are where they say it is right and i'm not saying it's any type of trickery but there's some other photos that start to look very very strange and manipulated once you look at them now this is what fuels conspiracy theories. This is that same photo, as you see in the bottom right, I'm just turning on a, a special filter that I created here so that I could see the boundaries of the photo and try to examine it. We're gonna look into this in just a few minutes and I'm gonna show you some very beautiful pictures, what ones I think are real, what ones I think are composited, which is still real, it's just done with data instead of an actual uh, light picture. But then again, I'm going to show you some pictures that are even in this whole series. You're going to see some things that I will even allege might be faked. So please stick with me and trust me. The one example 
of how these types of websites and researchers take advantage of the topic is with the towers on the moon. Uh, you will find that there are some uh, pictures that could suggest that there are some towering or tower-like objects on the moon. But with this example, it was a little bit of the, obvi uh, of the opposite. I'm sorry. Six giant towers discovered on the moon. This is from metabunk.org. Great website. A lot of smart people there. And they like to take the claims of people like Secure Team 10 and Scott Waring and other researchers or internet investigators and put them to the test. Now, this is a google moon it's like google earth but it is a lot of um uh, pictures of the surface of the moon like it mapped out and you can kind of you can just look at the moon yourself with google earth it's really awesome download the application switch to google moon and you're good to go i would like to debunk one claim made by a ufo youtube channel called secure team 10 in a video titled as six giant towers discovered on the moon 331 of 17. There's no need to watch the video. It contains other unrelated claims as well. They claim they have found six towers from the moon via Google Earth. They give these coordinates, or Google Moon, Earth slash moon, and they give these coordinates. Enter them in, the anomalies will be visible. You will see something that looks like a tower, possibly several miles high. These are not image artifacts. Google Earth software renders the towers in 3D mode, but when you zoom out, they will disappear. They are not visible in any LRO images. Now, one thing that Secure Team 10 has done is built a very lucrative uh, million dollar business off of this type of information. What do you think happened here? Because what these guys are doing is taking the Google Earth data, which is data for an image um, application. It's not anything scientific. Um, and, and it even renders a 3D environment off of the images. So you're definitely going to get some anomalies. And any smart person would think that. But I'm not going to tell you that uh, Secure Team 10 dumb. I'm going to tell you that they know if they can make it look like this, even if they're wrong, and they, even if they get debunked, they can just say, oops, I didn't know, and make their, you know, $5,000 for their million view video. Uh, but, so what they do is they compare it to the actual LRO, which is a satellite, I believe, right? Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. Uh, that goes over and actually took images of the uh, surface of the moon but but please hold in hold on hold on there for just a minute they give examples they even talk about how they can reproduce the towers and how they did it well, let me scroll down and show you you have to change the settings of your google earth if you change the settings of your google earth and how it renders it will actually do this on the earth also in specific places here's the instructions right here and he can make these towers look different. He can make some look pointy, some look less pointy, and some look flat. Um, but there's even a clip of a comment left on the uh, Secure Team 10 video. Here's a little trick with Google Earth. You've got to change the settings. Go to Tools, Options, and change Elevation Exaggeration from 1 to 3. And put Mark on High Quality Terrain. NASA's Buster left on that video. And basically, they do that. They also find out what happened, and they even show how if this really was a six-mile tall tower, three-mile, one-mile, half-a-mile tall tower, you would be able to see it when it because they pinned the exact location, they looked at it with satellites, and they gave an example of how it would be visible if that was true. And this is what's great about uh, science, smart people, and it's what's great about people working together uh, but it is it does exercise what's wrong with the internet and how people will try to take advantage of others for money Which honestly the entire internet is 99.9% .9 people trying to take advantage of you for money and 0.1% of people trying to be honest and get to the truth of things Now, I do want to make sure, if you haven't seen a little thing I did live, uh, I recap it for you, maybe a week ago, a few days ago. And I talked about how the Saturn V rocket was one of the greatest achievements of the United States technologically, especially at the time. And it hasn't been beat up to now. I want to make sure that everyone knows that. There is a lot of reason for people that don't like the United States to want their country to believe that certain things didn't happen like let's say you 
yourself don't believe that people went to the moon, you still must believe they built the Saturn V rocket and launched it, right? Because there's so many, there's so much video of it being constructed, and there's so much video of it being uh, launched and over and over in the tests, and, and they documented every single piece of it, right? So I just want you to keep that in mind as we move forward. That doesn't mean that there isn't strangeness everywhere, though. When I've been analyzing these photos, like I've been telling you, I can see where the photo is, right? Here's the photo from here in this border, where they probably laid this physical photo down and that was developed with film and took another picture of it or scanned it into the computer so they have the edge here that's cut off. Um, one thing that I've noticed is going through all of these pictures, I noticed that they behave exactly as you would expect a real picture to behave, not a composite. Now, there are so many of these. I could go through thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of these. Of the Earth, of the Moon, of the astronauts, of the equipment, of it landing, of it launching, of it floating. I mean, there's some really great picture archives out there. I've showed you some, right, already. Um, but then like this one, you can see the, the craft. You can see it where it was landing or floating. And uh, This might be the LRO, though, so it might not have landed. But you can see the edge of the picture, right? Here's the bottom of it. And you can see the Earth in the background. And you'll see that it does behave exactly like we would expect with the photo. Let me leave this here and the Earth so that you can see what it looks like when we manipulate the light uh, and, and, the, and invert it a little. And it behaves like you, if, you're, if you've uh, used any type of uh, forensic photo uh, anal analyzation tools um, or analysis, if, <laughs> if I want to use correct you know, grammar here. Um, if you use any of these types of things regularly, you'll notice that this is behaving exactly like a real picture should. Keep that in mind. Now, let's jump over to what I think is a composite. I don't know if they announced this as a composite. They may have, but for obvious reasons, that it's I'm using the same method that I used on the other picture. I've just made sure to be very careful with my curves, you know. From everything I've learned over the last you know few years of doing this and um, my filter and I've noticed that it does seem like the moon if you look this is the surface of the moon um, and you can't see this part of the moon even though you know it's there because you can see the shadows cast upon it right so maybe there is something behind it that goes up this way and something that goes up this way and that's what's great about um, analyzing photos you start to really be able to see how this works, how things how, how things are. What gets me, though, is it does seem like this is two different photos. It seems like this is a photo of the moon, and then this is a photo of the Earth, and that they've kind of thrown this together. Now, some people argue about the size of the Earth in this picture. It's because they're zoomed in. You would expect it to look this big because they're floating back very far. They're zooming in. You can see the surface of the moon in the foreground zoomed in on, and then you can see the Earth zoomed in on. Uh, just to make sure that that's there because a lot of people will state uh, you know strangeness over things that aren't strange now we've seen that right here this is cut off right the whole corner end is cut off there um, and then over here we see that the atmosphere has been tampered with so let me go ahead and get rid of this curve and just flatten line it flat line it out but let you see the process let you see what this looks like without my curves there oh, no let me leave that one there so as you see, it just looks completely normal. Um, but you do notice that they have kind of uh, trimmed up the atmosphere. Let me go ahead and bring it back. They've trimmed the atmosphere up, um, as you can see right here. And they definitely have direct lines where, um, you know, like, oh, look, they trimmed the atmosphere here. Uh, and then, all, so this obviously wasn't what we think it is or what we think what we think it is from looking at it and i don't know i'm not saying nasa claimed that this wasn't a composite but this is how a composite works you take several images and you slice them together and uh, that's what's happened here so when somebody like scott warring or secure team 10 or someone gets into this and they they pull this up they'll say obvious trickery well everything must be fake that nasa's done and that's just not true um like i said only if NASA is trying to tell you that this is an absolute real picture and that it's not a composite would it mean any type of fakery or trickery. Uh, this is that photo that I showed you had that tiny anomaly in it. And there are so many other anomalies that we're going to look at. Uh, there's even people that claim that there are ships on uh, the moon. Now, I even have a great piece of video 
that will show you a little uh, dot flying by that, that looks like it's a control being controlled. It doesn't look like it's a, um, you know, uh, something floating by. It looks like it's a ship or something, and we'll go into that. This is from, and I have the original picture too, but it's not worth showing you right now. This is a zoomed-in picture of something on the surface of the moon casting a shadow below it. And what these guys do, though, is they, they clean these pictures up. Why is it so fuzzy? Well, that's because this is such a small thing. Um, if you really understand how photos work, it's such a small thing on the surface of the moon taken from so far away that when you zoom in on it, you don't have detail there, right? No, no matter how big the image would be, you would lose detail as you zoom in because the lens of the camera couldn't capture that detail. Anyway, so we've looked at a lot of uh, the strangeness that's been claimed. And throughout this series, I'm going to show you some massive, massive claims about the moon. And even some whistleblowers that have come out and stated that they've seen bases on the moon, that um, the United States uh, government is hiding it from you. Uh, we've seen a lot of the claims ourselves because we've been on YouTube and we've been looking. But what I hope to do is take some of these claims and really trace them back like they've done on Metabunk here and show you why a lot of the claims you see out there are just people trying to clickbait your attention. Don't think that doesn't mean, though, that you shouldn't be uh, inquisitive, that you shouldn't be questioning things. You should question everything. And I'm going to question it with you for the rest of this. But I know I'm eating up a lot of time. I'm going to jump out of this one. Um, I'll see you in part two. I'll, I'll, ask, I'll also see you in the live show while we talk about this. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on notifications with the bell. Consider my Patreon. It's, the link is in the description. It would really help if you decide to uh, join it uh, or join the channel below. And I appreciate you for watching. Thanks.